Today, Jiu Jitsu Bania is in Ventura, Southern California, here with Professor Fabio Leopoldo of Gracie Marumbi. Fabio is a three time world champ, three time Pan American champ, and a two time Brazilian champ. Fabio, please tell us about your start in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and who you've trained under. Uh, I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu when I was like 16 years old. Uh, I started training a little bit with like a uh, uh, Roberto Lage, then trained like for six months, then I went to High and Gracie, and uh, since then I'm um, stick with Grace family, you know, it's a really nice uh, people, a lot of experience, you know, like it was so far I'm so happy <laughs> to choose this uh, as like uh, my lifestyle. You've also fought MMA uh, with on Henzo Gracie's team, the, the Pit Bulls. Um, tell us about how BJJ must be adapted for MMA. Yeah, I think Jiu-Jitsu for sure, you know, like one of those, I think for me, for MMA, it's like 70%, you know, like you have to believe in something, you know, and uh, the way I believe is like this, is Jiu-Jitsu, you know, so sometimes, you know, the guys, that's like I used to say, uh, sometimes the person is much better than you in stand-up, but you close their eyes and throw the punch, you're going to hit and knock out. And if you have like a good jiu-jitsu, the chance to happen this is getting much less. So the hard part is to put in jiu-jitsu into the cage, you know. So I think, you know, like you have to train everything, you know, like because even like say stand up, because you have to write, to find the right time to close the distance, you know, you have to to train some wrestling because you have to put the person down, some tuck, uh, defense and take downs. So, but you know, the most important, you know, feel comfortable in stand up to close the distance and be able to use the Jiu Jitsu. That thing is not easy, but that's our goal for like Jiu Jitsu. Fabio, what are the most common mistakes that people at the blue belt level make and how can you help them correct or be aware of those mistakes? I think he, all those mistakes is a part for like, he, uh, for for the experience, you know, so everybody have to do the mistakes. So that way you learning, you know, like you improving. So, but one of those things, you know, like for sure, you know, like uh, blue belts, they worry too much about some stuff and they forget about the base. The base is the most important thing. When you're gonna pass the somebody's guard, you have to be in your base. You know, like so, you have to first set up all those those techniques, those passing, those sweeps, when you have a base. After you have the base, then you go to, a, to apply the submission or the passing guard. So, but I think the most important thing, you know, like, and the big mistake, you know, they forget a little bit about the base and go to another position, you know, like so. So what's the most important advice you could give to a beginner in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? I think, you know, like you have to one, the most important thing, leave your ego outside when you get into the mat, you know, and go over there, try to do your best, know some days you're going to be good, some days you're going to do bad, and know, like, you respect each other, you know, when you're teaching, even when some people come to help you, and even when you know the position, say, oh, thank you, you know, because if somebody comes to help you, and then you say, oh, I know this position, yeah, I do this because this and this, you know, so that way the person probably never going to try help you anymore, you know, so I think the most important thing for everything in their life to be humble and always looking for like learning, you know, so I think that's the most important thing. And then for advanced students, what, what advice or pointers would you give them generally? I think for advanced students, it's the same, you know, like we have to understand, you know, our days, we have to understand it. You know, like why are you having goals? You know, oh, you have like a big family, or uh, so then you know, like maybe you're gonna see like some kids growing up, oh, then starting getting like really tough on you, you know, because the technique, everything. So then you know, I think the most important thing for everybody, you know, know yourself, know your goals, you know, set up so your goals, understand your life in the time when you're doing, you know, and uh, training hard. I think you know, like. Always be humble, helping, you know, I think that's the most important. The Mundial start tomorrow, and I know you have a number of students who are fighting in that tournament. How do you help them prepare mentally 
for a big tournament like that? Uh, I think, you know, the most important thing is not putting too much pressure, you know, like I told my students, you know, like uh, this is totally different, you know, over there we're going to play a game and then, you know, we have to be relaxed, you know, try to do our best, you know, sometimes when you lost, you know, but we do our best, you know, like at least it happened with me, you know, like, by the way, I lost a lot, so I know like this experience. So, you know, like I know, man, I did my best, you know, if it doesn't work, it's okay, I'm going to work harder and try, you know, like, but, you know, like, be, be there and have fun, I think that's the most important thing, you know, your product's coming, you're going to learn what you have to train harder and always improving, look to improving. Jiu Jitsu Mania thanks you for your time, I know it's a very busy week for you and we look forward to seeing you again. Oh, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to see like uh, this, like uh, uh, Jiu Jitsu Mania is growing, you know, like I want to be a part of this.